The so-called resistance is angry because their horrible ideas have been rejected by the American people, and it's driving them crazy. Crazy. They're the ones, honestly, that have been driven crazy. The latest act of resistance is the op-ed published in the failing New York Times by an anonymous, really an anonymous, gutless coward. You just look. He was, uh, nobody knows who the hell he is, or she, although they put he, but probably that's a little disguised. That means it's she. But for the sake of our national security, the New York Times should publish his name at once. I think their reporters should go and investigate who it is. That would actually be a good scoop. That would be a good scoop. Unelected deep state operatives who defy the voters to push their own secret agendas are truly a threat to democracy itself. And I was so heartened when I looked. I think it's backfired. Seriously, people that don't exactly dig us and they don't exactly like me, they're fighting for us. It's an incredible, it's actually a beautiful thing. We've picked up a lot of support because at some point this whole thing is going to be exposed. And it's really bad and it's really dangerous and it's really sad for the media and the mainstream media. It really is sad. When I told you about the good news coming out of Korea today, they will hardly even report it. If this were President Obama, that would be the biggest story in the history of our